And I want to talk to our church family now for a little bit. This is a family business for our family and friends of Grace Presbyterian Church. Uh, we all got the great news from the president on Friday that he considers church gatherings essential. And we do too. So we need to talk about our future and what we will be doing because this is what we know. This next week clearly will be busy with federal and state officials describing the next phases of Illinois' reopening. You must know that Grace's leaders have already been planning for weeks for the stages of our reopening, knowing that we needed to prepare for a variety of scenarios depending on what the government officials said. So we have already been preparing. We have engaged in many hours of careful planning with health officials as well as with government officials regarding what will be best practices, not only for gathering for worship, but for protecting God's people. Both are our obligation, particularly as we consider those in high-risk groups. At Grace Presbyterian Church, we elect elders and deacons to protect our worship as well as protect our people, and no one is approaching this recklessly. This virus is real, and it is deadly, and there are church families here who can testify to those realities. We will be careful as well as being worshipful in what we do next. So what we all recognize is that returning to our worship is not going to be a matter of just unlocking the doors, sending children to Sunday school, and returning to our seats. Our sanitizing efforts, our entryway plans, our fellowship practices, our capacity standards are all being carefully designed for everyone's safety as well as the Lord's worship. And we will be communicating so very much to you. So your leaders are moving with great discernment, seeking to love all generations in the practices that we will be employing to worship Christ here. There is, there is no doubt that we will need your patience and your selfless care, not just thinking about what's good for you as a person or a family, but what is good for others as well as we gather together. We will be practicing worship practices and communion practices and child care that will be requiring the flexibility and understanding of absolutely everyone. It will stretch us, but it will strengthen us for whatever God gives us to do as we worship him and lead others to do the same. Now, you must know that we have amped up all our communications in this pandemic time with more text and devotions at midweek, with website announcements, with phone calls from our leaders to every household that we have contact with. There will be more emails and contacts that go out this week. If you have not been getting that communication, please call the church office, go to the website, and make sure that we have a channel to reach you so that we can be communicating with you. We will continue to communicate copiously about all of our reentry plans and standards because we need your help and your understanding and we want to gather together as God enables us to worship him. Some things that you can do even now as we look toward gathering together again, pray for the church leaders. Uh, we don't just have pastors, we have elders and deacons and those who are helping us even today with technology. Many plans will begin now going into effect. And as I said, we have been working on that. We will continue. But we know that some of what will happen is we will distribute some of our worship as well. There will be people who will live stream, people who will be here, people who will be in different places. Invite your neighbors. The churches that will thrive through this pandemic are those who recognize that earthly problems are platforms for the working of the Holy Spirit. And people are more open to the gospel than they have ever been. Use this opportunity to invite people to worship. In the context that God gives us, they are open to hearing from you and from the, the Lord will be with us. It, it's going to be for us onward and upward, not backward. Well, already Kevin has helped us sing. Before and behind us, he is. 
He will be with us wherever we go. He's been with us now. One of the ways that we've been serving more people as we need is the special way we've been trying to serve our children during this time. We'll do that now because we're taking special care of our children with the children's sermons that are even during these streamed worship services. Here's another from one of our uh, ministry directors ministering to our children. Let's watch together. 